Hello, this is Rusty in Central Texas. Rusty78609 is my channel on YouTube. And this video is in response to a comment on my camping in a Prius video. Uh, it's from Mr. Donzo. Mr. Donzo asked if I was going to do more videos and also if there was a list that I used to prepare my Prius for camping, you know, so that I didn't forget anything. Uh, answer is, yeah, I'm going to be doing several videos starting probably the first part of March as I travel. Uh, I'll probably be making some short trips uh, almost monthly beginning in March if it's not too cold, if the weather is okay, because weather is everything on a trip. Weather's good, good trip. So, uh, and as to the list, yes, I do have a list. And I'll read it to you. I, I mean, I, I was going to take a, a picture of it and post it, but my handwriting is crap. I print. It's, thank God it isn't written in cursive. But uh, the, the list is as follows. I'll kind of go down it fairly quickly because every list is going to be different. It depends on where you're going to go camping, what the climate's going to be, you know, a lot of things. But these are some of the things that I, I know, you know, I've got here window screens. I use uh, a uh, window screen that is, um, it's a mesh. You can buy it at Lowe's or Home Depot, maybe you'll get it at Walmart, I'm not sure. And it comes in a roll, and the roll is wide enough to cover uh, of the windows. So, and I just tape it using that tape. The, I cut it out the size of the window. Real easy to do. Just use a pair of scissors and whack it out. Mine look like crap, but they work. Uh, and then uh, tape them on using the painter's tape. You, I, in my first video about Prius camping, I showed a roll of that blue painter's tape. You can use whatever you want to use. I get, the, I get the one that's about an inch wide. It's really cheap. And the reason I use painter's tape is because the adhesive backing on it is not real sticky. And and you can just pick, you know if you you can leave the screens on your windows all day or even two days and then the tape just comes right off real easy and it's not a mess at all it's real easy and uh, so window screens is one always take hats of course shoes socks I usually take some string because uh, sometimes I want to uh, set up a clothesline uh, plastic bags for trash bags of course you know you can use grocery bags for that uh, also a trash bag 13 gallon trash bag for your uh, dirty clothes I take a walking stick I usually take some peanut butter and jelly and bread because if all else fails I can always fix a peanut butter and jelly sandwich uh, I usually take some post-it notes of uh, the little small ones and the reason is as uh, as the day goes particularly when you stop to camp uh, there's things that you think of that you need like I don't know, something from the store or whatever. You know, make a note of it and just stick it on the dash or stick it somewhere, and that way you won't forget it. Uh, Post-it notes do come in handy. I always take a, some washcloths. Like I mentioned in the first video, you can buy a package of those washcloths at Walmart. They usually come 20 or 30 in a pack. They're really cheap. Uh, you can use them for bathing, a jillion different things. I usually put two or three of those on the dashboard, uh, and when I camp, I put... You know, my glasses up there, my cell phone, uh, cell phone charger. If I take a tablet or whatever, I may set it up there. Of course, I've got that heat shield, the windshield cover, the aluminum windshield color cover to keep the heat out. So anything that's on the dash is not going to get toasted. Uh, but let's see what else. Uh, you know, and then it, if I'm going camping, I usually check to see what the lowest temperature is, is in that area. And uh, if it's, say, around 50, then I take clothing according to that lowest temperature. You know, you can always take something off, but you can't put anything on that you don't have. So if, you got, if you're prepared for the lowest temperature, the rest of it will take care of itself. Uh, I usually take some toothpicks. Uh, of course, uh, those little floss things I talked about in one of my videos. Uh, 
now let me see I'll show you one of them they're really good I mean and and also I don't use toothpaste I just brush my teeth with warm water I got in the habit of that when I was in the Peace Corps because you couldn't find toothpaste half the time and uh, but these little flossing things here you can get them at a package at Walmart they're I don't know a couple of bucks for a hundred of them and one of them will last you God I don't know how long uh, forever uh, I think you can pull a car with that wire across there uh yeah so th those are good uh let's see take a nail file you may need that uh you know take a bag for your bath stuff you know so that you've got it all in one place so if you if you have to go out in the brush to take a shower or off over to a picnic table wherever that you can just pick up your bag and you've got everything in there your spritzer your hairbrush your mirror uh, always take a, a roll of toilet paper. You may not need it, but um, in fact, most parks, national parks, state parks, uh, bureau land management, all of them do pretty well on their outdoor toilets, uh, and uh, they're usually pretty clean. There's no odor, and uh, so you're not going to have any problem. You may not even need. I, I don't think I ever use the toilet paper, but I always take it. Of course, I take reading glasses. My glass cleaner for my sunglasses and my regular glasses, a can opener, uh, put some beer in the cooler, of course. Uh, uh, let's see. What else do I got here? I put paper towels, blah, blah, blah. Uh, an um, I, sometimes I take an umbrella. If I'm going to be camping on public lands, uh, they, there's no trees on a lot of that. And, and, you know, you want to sit outside, there you are. So uh, I do take an umbrella, and it's real easy to take. You can, it, it fits right up under the bed. I, that, I put it right where I put my walking stick. I just push it up under the air mattress. And, uh, and, and it comes in handy sometimes. It just depends on where I'm going. Uh, the, the, you can also, if you want to, in addition to the front window cover, the heat shield that I talked about in my first video, uh, you can buy some of that aluminum bubble wrap. Uh, it's got a little aluminum co uh, covering on each side. It's called bubble wrap, but it's got aluminum on it. You can buy it at Home Depot. It's a good insulation, and you can buy it by the foot, and it comes in pretty wide lengths. But you can cut a piece for that that'll fit on that back window of the Prius, the real long sloping one. And you can use some uh, uh, Velcro tape and uh, stick that on there if you want privacy which i don't i did the first time i went but i don't do it anymore because i don't care about privacy anybody wants to look at me hello help themselves uh, as far as any other window coverings i noticed that the first time i went i'd watched a video and, and this girl had you know window coverings on the passenger side and the driver's side and little dowels and all kind of stuff and i did that as a pain in the ass uh, you don't need that. I mean, if you're, I, I've camped in a Walmart before, and what I did, I just rolled the window down by where I was sleeping, put a towel, and then rolled the window back up. That's all the privacy I needed. And uh, usually, whenever I park my Prius in a campsite anywhere, if I can, I like to face it west so that the setting sun is in the front of the vehicle and that it's not shining in on me uh, on the bed. You know, so that when the sun sets, it's in the, the, the sleeping area is all in the cool area. And that way, if you're if you're if you face your car to the west, and it's, it, what makes it nice is in the morning when the sun comes up, if you don't have that back window covered, the sun shines in. It's just a really nice way to wake up. It's really peaceful and you know, it's really nice. And again, the window coverings just get you some mosquito netting uh, at a, a Walmart, not Walmart, a, a Home Depot, Lowe's, wherever they've got it and uh, cut it to fit the windows and then just use that tape to stick it on there I, whenever my my uh, and one of the things that you need to get into is a routine uh, after you've camped for a while you'll develop your own mine is as follows whenever i pull into a campsite first thing i want to do is is find east west so that i can face west second thing i want to get the car reasonably level with that little round RV level, you can buy them for a couple of bucks. They're about as big as a half dollar, and they just sit flat. They got a bubble in the center, and uh, they're you just set it in that flat spot, 
uh, under your console, you know, by your shift lever and your Prius, that little flat spot underneath there, just set it there. And uh, whenever that bubble is pretty close, uh, you're fine. You, what you don't want to be is you don't want to have the front end. You don't want to be sleeping with your head downhill. You know, you want, you, you know, if it's a little up, no problem. If it's a little off to the left or the right, that's not a big problem uh, because that's not going to affect your sleeping at all. I promise you. Uh, once you get that done, then then um, I usually put on the front two uh, coverings on the, the, the uh, mosquito netting on the front windows, the two front car windows. And the reason I do that is I go ahead and roll those windows down to keep the car cool. And if the temperature is going to be cool enough, that's all I do. I don't cover the back windows at all uh, because you'll freeze at night. Uh, later on, if it around 8 o'clock or about the time I get ready to go to bed, if it's still pretty warm, I'll cover one of the back windows, not the, where I'm sleeping window, but the other window. I'll put the covering on it and roll the window down about a third of the way. And then the front two windows will have them down about halfway. And uh, maybe maybe more, if it depends. But usually about halfway is about as far as I go. In. And then if, if you need to, you don't have to run the air conditioner or the heater on the Prius. But what you can do, uh, and it's really economical, is, is you can turn the fan on. You know, you can lay back there with that fan running and all night. And, and the motor may not cut on at all. But now if you run the air conditioner or the heater... The motor's going to cut on, oh, approximately two to three times an hour, and it'll run for about four minutes to charge the batteries. And uh, in a whole night, you might use uh, uh, half a gallon of gasoline. Not much. It's pennies. So the cost of that is not a problem. So that's one way to keep comfortable. As far as chargers, don't forget chargers for your cell phone and whatever else you're taking. Uh, you know... Whenever you put your canned goods or whatever you're going to take in that little the, the storage compartment at the rear of the Prius, the one that's kind of under the carpet that you unlock and lift up at the very rear of the Prius, that little storage compartment, if you're going to put anything in there, uh, put in a towel or something in the bottom of that thing so that your cans or whatever you put in there aren't rolling around and sliding around and making a lot of noise when you're driving. And... Uh, What, and if you put utensils there, wrap your utensils so they're not ding, 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 rattling while you're driving because it'll drive you crazy. Uh, yeah, you, and you can use storage containers. Uh, there, One lady I saw a, a video used storage containers to put stuff in and then put it back there. Yeah, you, know, you can also put stuff in bags, whatever you want to do. But the main thing is when you put stuff in that storage container or anywhere in the Prius, just be sure that it's not going to bang together and make a rattling noise as you're driving down the highway because... If it's going to rattle, you'll find out pretty quick. Uh, I usually take a pistol and, and I take some of the spray. Uh, I used to take a corkscrew for my wine. I don't have to worry about that anymore because I buy the box wine, red wine. I usually buy a cab, Cabernet. And, uh, you know, you don't have to chill red wine. You just drink it at room temperature. Uh, also, another thing you need to remember is if you're going to be gone on an extended trip, three, four, five days, be sure and notify your postal carrier to hold your mail. Uh, I also take binoculars. Uh, but I don't hardly use, I may not take them anymore. I never hardly used them. I take my Kindle so I can read. Uh, flashlight, of course. I usually take two gallons of water, of drinking water, fresh water, and then I just refill those at the campsites as I go. Uh, if I'm going to go to public lands where there is no water available, I may take an extra two gallons. Uh, of course, knife, fork, spoon, uh, plastic plates. Yeah, those come in kind of handy. I don't, I don't use plastic plates much because if I go to Albertsons or Walmart or wherever when I'm traveling uh, and get something at a deli, it usually comes in a container. Uh, take a, take you one towel for drying after you shower. Uh, one towel is plenty. You don't need to take ten because you can hang it up and let it dry. Baby wipes. A uh, lady recommended that. I never use those. What I do is now I've gotten so good at it is I just wet the uh, the uh, uh, washcloths, get them wet, 
and, and just towel off, just wipe off, wipe off. And then that's one way. And then another way is if it's, if I've got a, some kind of privacy or if I can make some kind of privacy, I'll just take a gallon jug, set it in the sun until the water's warm, uh, put on a pair of uh, swim trim trunks, and then just pour it all over me, take a good bath, and then, you know, do what I got to do. Uh, you know, again, some of the stuff that people do I don't think is necessary. You know, covering all the windows, no. I think covering the front, front window is fine. Use the mosquito netting, and if you need more privacy, just on your side where you sleep, just hook a towel in the window and roll the window up. Uh, let me, I got another list here. I'm just scanning it, blah, blah, blah. Uh, don't see anything, anything else there. Uh, t -t 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 -t. Yeah, and as you're, here's another little tip. As you take you a clothespin, and as you're traveling, uh, all your receipts for gasoline, any purchases, just put them in that clothespin and throw them in your console. That way, when you get back, you'll have a record of everything you spent, and it's easy to get to. Uh, anything else I can think of, I'll post. Uh, Mr. Donzo, thank you for your comment. And uh, I look forward to posting some more Prius camping videos along with other stuff. And, uh, you know, uh, subscribe, I think. I, you know, the reason, I, I think I've mentioned this in other videos, the reason people that post videos on YouTube want viewers to subscribe is because they don't get paid unless you get a certain number of subscribers. I don't know why they have that rule, but they do. And I think I mentioned I've made a whopping 44 cents in a year. So I'm, I'm doing this for commercial reasons, obviously. Uh, also, a quick note on the mosquito netting for the car. You're gonna, there is a website, that it's called Skeeter Beater. They make a, a, mag, they, they make a, a skeeter netting, a mosquito netting with magnets in it that you can just stick on the, the Prius. But unfortunately, it's not just designed for the Prius. Uh, it's designed for other Toyota vehicles that are larger and it doesn't fit. In fact, I've got some here on my kitchen table that I'm sending back because I was going to try them because I thought maybe it'd just look neater and it'd be easier, but uh, at first it didn't look any better, and number two, uh, that you can't you can't put them on so that you can open the door. They, they fasten on the top and then on the, the door itself, so you, know, you can't open and close the door, so that's useless. But uh, anything else offhand? None. Uh, thank you for your comment again, and uh, enjoy your Prius camping. If anybody has any comments or questions, if you leave a, leave a comment, I, I promise you I will get back with you because I don't have a thing to do. And uh, anyway, thumbs up to y'all, and uh, see that big old thumb? And uh, I do enjoy doing these. gives me something to do. This is Rusty78609 in Central Texas doing a video on Prius camping. So en enjoy the day. Adios.